Welcome my beautiful creative people, this is Nairi from Creative Kingfisher and it's been a long time since I've done any filming because I've moved office. So today we're going to do a scrapbooking page, junk journal page, whatever you like to call it. We've got lots of nice things here that we can get our teeth into. I'm kind of going to go down the sea theme, that's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm hoping. So I've been recovering from losing a, a dear friend, so I haven't really been feeling it, if you know what I mean. Um, but, uh, and also moved office, so this is the first time to really kind of get the feel of the lighting and all those things. So let's get the glue. So this is my scrapbook that I use for self-care, just to help me along the way a little bit. Now this was a lovely card that I had from Craft Plan Create, which is from Monica, and I want to somehow incorporate this without losing the ability to see what's inside. So I think if I go for that, and I thought this was, I don't know, almost like a sea feel there as well. So I'm gonna put that underneath, and then I kind of want to layer, and then I'll think about how to journal in a minute. I don't leave a huge amount for the journaling with this one because it is about making it look beautiful and inspiring me to feel more positive. You know when life gets tough, that's what you need sometimes, isn't it? So first of all, let's get this working, let's get this in place. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go that way. So if you've not found me before, then my name's Nairi, but the channel is Creative Kingfisher and I do a mixture of things on the channel. So a little bit of uh, decorative planning, a little bit of this, scrapbooking, junk journaling, some art, some studio vlogs, let's have a shop. So yeah, mix, a mix of things. Okay, now. That's quite bumpy, but quite like the feel of that, actually. Now, I'm wondering, actually, if I might pop that in behind. I think that might look nicer. Pop that in behind, like so. It's like a little tuck, isn't it? But with a card that has already been given to me. Now, let me see what's in here. So this, some of these things came from Tapeology or Tapeology. I don't know how you say it, there was an awful lot given in it, but I kind of want the right look. I want it to fit with my C theme if I can. Looks like I've got some little maps here. I think those would be more what I want. I think when you're doing junk journaling or scrapbooking, you can literally do anything you want, you know? But sometimes you just want it to. So I'm going to cover up Peter today, I know it's sad, but sometimes you just want it to have a certain look. I wonder whether we can have an envelope. There. I think I'm going to leave the spots around the edge because I think they're quite delicate and I quite like them. So let's get get the envelope in maybe the other way around. I can do more with it that way. Put that in. So do you have a self-care journal yourself or something where you write in stuff, perhaps, or look at stuff that you really don't want anybody else to see? This is what this is for me. Somewhere where I can kind of put my innermost thoughts really. I like that can go there and I wonder whether that can flap up there. Looks like it's sealed actually to be fair. It's not really gonna help me as if it's already sealed. See if we can oh see if we can get it unsealed. Yeah kind of although we're ripping it but you know needs must and all that lot. This is an old envelope, I don't know how old it is, but clearly old because it's stuck itself down. 
but won't matter that it's ripped because we don't mind how old and cranky it looks put that one on there I don't really like that though there's nothing special about these bits I feel like these are almost more like a mosaic kind of thing so I'll put that down there they don't look cheap. they don't look old enough for me for what I'm looking for but I'll pop a couple in the corner I can overlap them a little bit just have to be careful if you're using them um, glue runner tape runner because uh it does stick fine as long as you don't try and stick it put this directly onto the material okay so we're gonna need to do something about that on me but we can because we've got lots of nice things here um that kind of might rescue it a little bit i thought i had another piece did i yeah So we put those two in. I prefer this one. I'm going to pop that in, but I need to see some other things go on the end of the envelope. So, why do I need a self care journal? Well, how long have you got? I try not to sort of say too much complaining on the channel because no one wants to hear someone complaining all the time. But, um, looking at uh, losing a a very close friend not very long ago and looking after an adult daughter with very serious mental health issues that have kind of developed over the last few years so it's been tough and uh, please don't tell you so that's stuck down as well it's been tough and I feel like sometimes I need rather than just decorating a planner and putting in what's going to happen next week I think I'm going to need to fold that over perhaps uh, what can I do with that if I go like that then I can add something on the edge which would be really nice yeah sometimes I need this and it's a little bit different and it kind of works for me so that's quite good I like that so now I can add a little bit more glue in um, I mean there are lots of other types of glue you can use don't feel like you need to use a glue runner tape runner there's so many different things you could be using but I just find this quicker easier less messy so let's see, let's down again there we go Okay, we've managed to got somewhere to put the journaling card now so I'll think about what that can be in a minute we're gonna gonna doctor this a little bit let's get rid of that so junk journaling scrapbooking can just literally be what you find around the house I think a lot of us get into buying stuff but you don't need to you can just collect things around the house that you think look pretty and honestly sometimes that kind of just of just as nice if not nicer so I'm going to use this lace so I have lace in my shop which is they're quite big pieces quarter of an inch um, sorry quarter of a meter and this is one of the pieces cut from there so I'm going to pop that one in it doesn't go with the theme exactly but I think it looked nice just on the edge here pop, and also I think I don't want it just to be paper I want it to be lots of material as well so put that one in okay so good so far I think now I'm not particularly into stamping so that wouldn't be happening but of course you could do let me put a second flower in here just give us some colour so yeah move the office I have a big vlog to edit for you showing you the progress that I made and I'm almost there now not quite not quite enough to show you the finished result but pretty good and I've uh, just been trying to work out the lighting the best place to put my camera so yeah, I'm really pleased that I made that move to be honest because it was a difficult move to make and if you've ever moved your craft room you'll know what I mean it's quite a big task isn't it and it was the craft stuff and it was all the shop things as well so there's a lot a lot going on 
right there we are I've got loads and loads of new stuff going on to the shop very very soon so there's a sale at the moment but by the time you watch this probably new stuff will be going on if my new grandson hasn't arrived in the meantime my daughter did uh, ring me today say say she's starting to feel very very tired so I was thinking haha this could be that baby is coming soon so let me say that I like this one it's not necessarily in keeping with a sea theme is it but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be able to put on here as well because it's quite bubbly but I'm going to come up with an idea in a minute I assure you that we'll need something on there it's not enough as it is let me just get this one take, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart I think that might actually have to go on the envelope so let's pop that down there I like that layer on there now I wanted to use these lighthouses actually I wonder whether they will stick on there they're not going to I doubt and I'm going to have to think up something much better than that let me just cut these these all came from Monica as well actually I haven't used them yet so Monica from Craft Plan Create she's been producing videos for quite a while but it's still quite a new channel so I'm sure she'd love your support uh, I'll link her below if I think about it sometimes I forget I say these things I'm tempted to go for the red but it's not right for this this build up and layers of colour I think the green is a bit more subtle so let's get the green one in pop it in you can see one of my grey hairs is floating all over the place um, do you know what I really want to see if it will it down here somewhere. Does it sit? Oh yes. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Just see if I need to be able to get this out. So yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to put a little bit more tape runner here. If you're going to buy tape runner, honestly, Tombow it is the best. You can get cheaper, but. It bounces, they kind of bounce. Okay, so I've actually had quite a big interlude between filming these bits and, and doing these bits. So I've grabbed a few other things. So I thought this looks a little bit like a net. I don't know if you can appreciate where, where I'm going with that. So I was thinking about trying to get this off the back and doing the shells underneath the net. So let's see, let's see how that goes. Thinking, I'll put that one there and this paper's coming off much easier than I anticipated. So I'm nearly there with the craft room. I've been moving it around and I think I've finally almost got there. So I'll be able to show you how that's going very soon. Excited to show you. It looks much more like a room now and look looks much more like a, a space to be proud of, you know, something that I feel I'm gonna enjoy being in. I'm just gonna get my, what's it called, bone smoother thing. how we can get this going see if these come off okay because if they don't then that's not good see if we can get them going and then I'm going to put that net over the top and make a nice little kind of net shape thing a bit like a catch I know it's got shells in it but like a catch a fish sort of thing I'm not sure how hard I need to go but looks like it's going to be okay that's come off pretty easy, hasn't it? There we go. I'm very hot because it's a hot evening. Um, so when I first started filming this, it was a morning on a different day, and now it's an evening. I'm like, you need to get this done, Nairi. You know, you can't leave this page undone. So I think as well, I'd like to have some of this going on somewhere. I'm just not sure where yet. So let's get this netting going on. But yeah. This is probably the time when I would think about using wet glue actually. And I do have some, but I'm not convinced that I want to get it out right now. So we're going to stick with this idea. 
maybe need some there. Yeah, that's okay. I need to kind of get it onto the tape, which is not that easy, to be fair. There we go. It's a shame you can't see the shelf, but I like the effect of the shelves being underneath. Kind of slightly mysterious, isn't it? I've got this lace which came in the tapeology box, but I've also got this washi which I really like, and I'm not too sure. I need to be able to get this card out, obviously. Um, I prefer the washi, but it's a bit more of a safe choice, isn't it? But I do prefer it. So. Hmm, yeah, I've got to go with what I prefer, I think, haven't I? Give it a little rip. You've got to go with the look, haven't you? If you feel like you really like something, then you go with it. You don't worry about. The trouble is, this washi is going to be running the wrong way, but I think it will be right. Oh, I know what I could. No, no, I can't go that way. No. Okay, look, I'm just going to do this because it's not going to affect getting that card out then, and it's going the right way. So I'm going to go up there and hope that it sticks down. I'm not too sure if it will, to be fair. Let's just give that a little chop off. No, it's not going to stay, is it? I can feel it's not going to stay. Let's rip it instead. Okay, we're well, coming down here with this. It's a case of responding to the moment a little bit, isn't it? When something doesn't quite go the way you anticipate. And that didn't. Give this one a tear. No, okay. That gives it a nice uh, extra layer. But what to do over here, because that is not going to stick on there, so that's a, that's a no go. Um, I'll tell you what, let's just put this little bit here. And all is not lost, I feel. And maybe we could do a couple more like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's the evening, the sun is shining. I kind of do have an extra light on this, but I'm hoping you're getting a nice ambiance, if you know what I mean. Because sometimes when you use, use really strong, cool lighting, it's not very relaxing for the watcher in some ways. Can I get that in there? Yep, I can. Kind of doing lots of cheating here, aren't I? By poking it into different places. Okay. I'm not too keen on these. They look un unaged, so I'm gonna actually add a couple of bits in there as well. And I like that effect. That's good. Okay, I think that'll do. Save that bit for another time. Can I get away with the lace? You can see that I'm not letting this die down. It's not ideal for a sort of seascape thing, but it is ideal for a scrapbook. And I think layers and textures is all part of the fun. And you have to be a little bit brave. And I'm sure this will stick okay. It's just that I haven't left an awful lot of space for it, but it will have to be stuck to the top edge and then the, the wave, wavy bit will come down over that fluffy netted stuff that I've put in there so I won't be fixing it I don't think let me see no I won't fix it on here I think that's just nice as it is and as long as it stays when I'm lifting the page there's no problem so let me just try okay yeah it's all right I've got this little thing that says my blooming life not really anywhere specific for that but let's go corner you can see a tabby cat in the front garden it shouldn't be there and we'll be you know what on the uh, flowers i'm sure okay he's stalking around i say he it's a she and my cat absolutely hates her and he's a he and he would have thought that that would have happened they're always having fights and my cat always comes off worse because he's much smaller Okay, quite like that. Don't like this at all. Wrong decision, wrong choice. Um, what can I do to put it right? What indeed? 
What indeed? Let's see. There's so much in here, but I just want something small. The butterfly doesn't really fit with it, but it would look quite nice if I put butterflies in there, wouldn't it? I'm needing something small. Maybe a bit of lemon. Let's try. Let's try and see what we can do with this vellum. Could be used as almost like a pull-up flap there. So whilst I was on off camera, I did put these two things in here and I can use them for the journaling. So there is a place for me to write my secrets. So I don't really need a journaling card per se, but I do want to kind of squash the colour a little bit here. Um, as long as that opens all right it does I mean maybe I'll just put it in as a nice thing to look at no 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 I definitely need to do something around this you're probably looking at it going well what you're covering up that lace diary and I know I am and I don't actually know how any of this would stick, honestly. But this is where we're about to find out, really, what this glue is up for. I'm about to find out if it's any good or not. I mean, I've used it before, it's just that the lid always gets congealed, which means I always use it out on the side. But that's what I'm going to do. I'll grab myself a paintbrush and give it a go. Oh, that's rather a lot, I think, than that. Let me just get myself a little paintbrush so I can do that. I feel like as long as it dries okay, and I wash this brush out, which is it's not a particularly good paintbrush. I've got different ones I use for my own art stuff. It's just, it's okay, but you know. Let me just pop them in between. At the end of the day, I feel like that lace was a mistake. It's the wrong type of lace. I mean, this is in a way, but the brown works well. So, um, and maybe I was a little bit overzealous in the beginning to add lots of colors and stuff, but actually this is quite a muted sea spread, isn't it? It's got a lot of brown going on. Um, we'll see how this goes anyway. I'm gonna have to hold it down for a bit, I think. There we go. I do have some nice little pegs, which I might include, which will add a little tiny bit of blue or white. I'll get those. Probably the white, let me see. I've got some buttons as well. I think the dark blue would look good actually. I think the buttons might be a little bit too. Maybe we can have a couple of those buttons on there. What I call fluffy stuff. And let's see how that goes. Trial and error, isn't it? Let's see. I don't really want stuff falling off of the book. But the more textures and layers that I can put on here, the happier I'll be with it. And I think I did have the rest of these stickers, the lighthouse stickers pulled back to go on here. I feel like a little clip here would be good. I can always add a little journaling card there then if I want to. And I'm gonna go for that there. May or may not stay with this glue. I think I need to kind of look into some different glue. Everybody's shouting and talking about glitter glue. So, if you think that that's the way I should go, let me know in the comments. If you think there's a different type of glue that would be better for what I'm doing, let me know in the comments and I will try and get hold of some and stop using tape all the time. Sometimes you definitely need a wet glue. Right, and pop that button there, let that just dry. As long as I can lift that. All right, so let's get some more muted things going in, shall we? Come on then, you come. It feels like the anchor doesn't want to, you know, come up. I think they was, these were fine to get off, I thought. Now they're not. Oh, 
seagulls everyone if you've not been on my channel before you won't realize the significance of the seagulls but they're very much a sound in the background of my videos um i'm having trouble getting these up i don't understand i don't think they were before maybe i i did use something before okay i've got him this is fred and ginger the seagulls by the way i have got a hair and a baby hair here because i didn't think we were going to hear the seagulls anymore i thought they disappeared so we need some names for these two so if you're still watching this far into the video then we need some names for these two okay let me know in the comments and we'll do a bit of a a, a drawer or something right let's have that there i think that these these seem to stick really well on this stuff no no problem and i really like that one but then it's a bit overload isn't it so maybe it's going to be some seagulls what else what else I'm always afraid of stabbing myself with these types of things, and I generally do, but let's just see. Oh, that's good, isn't it? That is very good. Okay, let's have a couple floating through the air. It is a bit bumpy, but they're sticking okay. So, I, when I'm scrapbooking or junk journaling, this is kind of more of a scrapbook, if I'm honest, self-care one for me, then... I add papers and materials together because I quite like the effect of that but it depends what you like I guess isn't it I mean if you just want materials or papers that's fine as well but all I'm saying is you know it's, it's okay to experiment with things and if you can get things to stick and look nice well you can do whatever you want really can't you there we are I like those seagulls there I feel like this is a bit of a space but got a lighthouse got that and I don't know that I want to the boat's all wrong actually let's keep going let's have another seagull okay so if you've enjoyed this please subscribe check out the rest of my channel and see what I have on there see if it's the sort of stuff you like and uh, I'd love to have you on board and um, I hope you like what you see I know it's a bit of an eclectic mix and I'm gonna have to leave that to dry but I quite like the combinations of the browns and the sea and everything I quite like the mix don't really know what to say about that let me just chop that so yeah if you've enjoyed it give me a like give me a subscribe and I'll see you on Creative Kingfisher thank you